Good afternoon. <laughs> Today's magic um, practice with our gratitude is magical health. And, you know, I know health is a big deal to a lot of people. Um, I struggled for a long time as well with a debilitating issue. Thank heavens, you know, I've just about got that sorted. But you know, magical health, everything we give gratitude um, magically becomes improved. You know, everything we give love to, the frequency around that is raised and balance starts to take place. So if we can give appreciation for our body, we're actually raising the frequency and restoring balance in, in our cells. So, um, you know, there's three parts to this practice. The first one is finding five times in our life where we were vitally alive, where, you know, we had extreme health. And remember those times, bring them to mind and imagine Remember how you felt in those times because that's the feeling of vital health. And if we can bring that feeling back up in our body now, we're reminding our body what it feels like to be healthy and give gratitude for those times. Then find five parts of your body now that are working really well. You know, and that might be your eyesight, or it might be your hearing, it might be the fact that, you know, you're mobile, your legs are working well, you've got arms and hands that work well, it could be your heart, it could be your digestion. But find those five things and give gratitude for your body, focusing on the health of those organs. And that too, like focusing on what's working really well, brings balance to the whole body just by focusing on those places. So, you know, very important to, you know, feel the body. And, you know, it's hard to give gratitude for the places in our body that aren't working well. So if we can focus on another part of the body that is, you know, we're not limiting our gratitude just to that place. You know, it feeds the whole body. So giving gratitude for that. And then find something that perhaps is limiting you now, whether it be, you know, a joint or whether it be, you know, some, some other illness that's going on in your body. But, you know, try Try to understand that this illness is your body trying to show you something. And if you can't give gratitude for your body, give gratitude that it's trying to alert you to some understanding to create some sort of change in your body. Because if we're going through illness, the illness actually isn't us. It's something going on inside the body, which, you know, isn't actually the body. There's something the body is trying to overcome. You know, whether it's a virus or whether it's um, a cancer or whether it's arthritis or it's some condition that's going on in the body which is caused by something external, whether that external is a virus or something like that, or whether it is our thought. But we have the power inside of us to make changes in every aspect of our life. And when we can move into gratitude, when we move into those high frequencies of love, we totally can make change. You know, I know it's possible. I don't have any cartilage in one ankle joint, so the x-ray says. So my surgeons have said over the last 15 years. You know, this condition's been going on almost 30 years in my life. 
And I am more mobile now than I've ever been. And I'm not taking drugs anymore. I've gone off drugs in the last couple of years. So, you know, I know that it's all possible. But we have to start somewhere. And gratitude is an easy way to start raising our frequency. So have a beautiful day. Do your your health processes. Give gratitude for five times in your life where you've been healthy. Give gratitude for five things in your body that are healthy now. Then try to give gratitude around something that isn't working as well as you'd like it to be. Don't forget to count your blessings. Do your list of 10 and your reasons why and your magic rock process tonight. So have a beautiful day and I'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye for now.